What up, everybody? You're now tuned into Candid Conversations. I'm your host, Brandon Lampley. Back again today with another live stream. Hey, for my YouTube folks, if you're watching this on YouTube, I go live on Facebook. One day I'll pay for StreamYard and I'll be able to sim simultaneously stream to both platforms. But until then, <laughs> if, you <see> live, <laughs> if you want to see it live, just add me on Facebook. Brandon Lampley, find me on Facebook. You can watch me live on Facebook and comment and interact. Um, hey, comments are welcome. Hey, let us know hey, any topic I have, any show I have, anybody I have on. I, your comments are welcome. You know, hey, I, I love it. I love interacting with the people, man. That's what we do this for the people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, how you feeling today, man? Man, I'm feeling good, buddy. I ain't at work. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. That I love what it, I love what I love what I do, man. I love what I do, but man, it's just, it's it's good to. To be able to decompress, man, and just you know, decompress your mind sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just good. This is good for your mental. I'm feeling yeah. good. Oh yeah, I'm feeling good, man. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta have that time where you uh, take those uh, mental days, that personal time, and you yes, know, sir. get right, man, get right, so you can you can right. um, attack attack the rest of your week, attack your day, attack the month, attack the year. Right. Uh, getting that uh, that mental health um, break in is needed. Right, that right there. But man, let's jump into this topic. Y'all see the title. It says, <laughs> ladies, shoot your shot. Should women approach men? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Hmm, that's, that's that, one. That, that right there. Should women approach men? And you know what, traditionally, you know, the answer to that is no, they shouldn't. Um, they haven't, or, you know, they shouldn't have to, or you even have those who feel like, um, they're too good to approach men. They don't some, you know, they just feel like that's a man's job. You know, woman, they've been taught and they've been taught to, they've been taught to sit back and you wait for the man to approach. Cause that one of their favorite lines, a man that findeth a wife findeth, <laughs> they, they, they accentuate the findeth. So it's knowing <laughs> that we are the pursuers, we're the seekers. Right. And that's usually how it's been, but we're such in, like I, I tell you, Sean, all the time, we're like in bizarro world. And things are backwards now. So now right. you've vilified it so much to where guys on the street are not going to approach you like that. I mean, women right. are seeing that now. I have women all the time saying how now yeah, men don't approach me no more. When I'm out and about, men just don't approach me like that. I'm like, right. That's it, it's not you. It's just not just you. It's not that you're unattractive, ladies. It's not that. Um, you know, not that necessarily you're unattractive, not that you necessarily not something that he likes or he's interested in or would talk to. It's just that, you know, talking, walking up to a woman and trying to cold approach them today and uh, uh, strike up a conversation out of thin air, and trying to get her phone number, talk to her. I mean, it's you really rolling the dice. You're playing Russian roulette. You put the bullet in the barrel, spin it, put it to your head and, and, and go like that's what it is today when you're approaching a woman on the street. What's your thoughts on it? Um, I mean, I'm right there with you, B. Um, and then with everything that's going on, uh, with the, you know, the women's movements and things of that, that nature, um, <clears throat> I mean, which I get, I understand I, I, there's no judgments on my part, but my whole thing is society has made it so, uh, <laughs> they made it, they, they've made it such an, uh, they made it so awkward for guys to wear you know, and, and B, we've talked about this before. A guy can't say hey without a woman thinking he wants him, or he can't hold the door open for her without a woman thinking he wants her. I mean, mm -hmm. and, and it's just like, I, it's just like, you know, and I've told women before, you know, uh, you know, my mom raised me and my brother to say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. She raises to be cordial, she raises to be respectful and, and to be courteous. So, with that being said, you can't say anything without he's harassing me or whatever the case may be. You guys ain't trying to get cased up. So guys are kind of like falling back. But the traditional way that you did bring up, a lot of women are taught that they, they, they supposed to just sit in the garden and just look pretty. That's it. Yeah. You know, but here's the thing. It's such a catch 22 with that. Women are in power now. Women are in uh, powerful positions now. Uh, women are actually making more money than some men now. Women yeah. are doing their thing. You know, women are independent. You know, they 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 are they're coming into their strength. 
but with that being said, with that being said, for me, and, and you know, not all fellas, not not you know, and not all women are gonna gonna uh, think the same or, or even agree. <clears throat> but for me, if a woman approaches, and it has happened to me, where women have approached me in a sophisticated manner, show themselves. I mean, not ratchet or ghetto or anything like that. Just came with a bonnet on. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I didn't even say that. There you go. I'm a, <laughs> there you go, B. But my whole thing, I I find it extremely intriguing for a woman to step out of the traditional sense of things and actually approach a guy, you know, in a sophisticated manner to get to manner in in order to get to know him because if she's if 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 she's secure and solidified in her position as a woman um career woman she's doing her thing she's most likely not going to have a problem with walking up to a dude and really trying to get to know him pretty much striking conversation i don't see what's wrong with that we in 2021 but still some people have the mindset of the 1930s you know, and I, yeah. I, 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 but times are changing now. But there's a flip side to that coin. Like I said before, guys are kind of falling back because of the stigma that's on dudes and this whole sexual harassment thing, man. So that's what that's all about. Dudes are like, yep. hey, man, you know, and I try to tell women, you know, just because a dude's being nice to you, don't mean that he wants you. Yep. <laughs> he can have a dime piece. He's just being yep. nice because that's just how he was raised. Be what you think. Yep. She wear with and ladies like we, we talked about it before. You can't have it both ways. So, you know, you want the men that you want, that you are attracted to, that you find appealing to approach you. But you don't want men that don't fall in that category to approach you. You can't regulate that. So what end up happening is, is no man approaches because it's, I told you about that. Uh, it's like a little little cartoon, a uh, little uh, comic. It's a little comic right. drawing, you know, and it has the um, it's a guy he has on a nice suit, uh, got the gleam in his teeth, hair done. You know, he's in shape and, you know, good looking guy. He said, hey, Susan, looking good. And she's all fine. And like, oh, you know, thank you so much. And then another guy comes up. He's dumpy, got pimples, glasses, got a little sweater vest on. You know, he's just maybe not as a, he's not as appealing as the other guy. And he said, hey, Susan, looking good. And she's like, oh, my God, HR. She gets straight on the phone and goes straight to <laughs> HR. So now, men, and that, that's ha and it's funny, but it's happened to men all the time. It, it's happened. It's happened. Oh. I mean, hey. it is what it is. Hey, B. So B I <laughs> you know, it's, I'm laughing because you ain't lying. Yeah. And, and B, how I know you're not lying because I used to work in HR. Before mm -hmm. I got before I got all into my personal training, I was doing personal training on the side. But I, you know, I've been I was in corporate America for years, like everybody else. So I know that I know that side of, of being in corporate America, but I know that side is being a boss and working for yourself with you within your own power. So I used to be in HR, and I've seen cases like that. And I'm gonna give you a person's perfect scenario. <clears throat> I used I was I was working in HR at ADT. Okay. HR is pretty much the department, the HR department I was in was predominantly a lot of women. It had to be, let's say it was 20 of us or 25 of us. And it was probably maybe five, between five to eight dudes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are dead on right. Women, if I, if I complimented any woman in the HR department when I was there, they was going up mm -hmm. and I seen a dip, different dudes approach them saying the same compliment that I say mm -hmm. and they got in their feelings. But why? Because the, the fine dude <laughs> say, Hey, you know, what's up? Uh, you know, girl, you looking good today. I, I like that yeah. outfit. You know, it's smoking. You looking jazzy today. <laughs> <laughs> Another dude from the apartments down come down, look at all frumpy or whatever, say the same thing. <laughs> she get a feeling she get mad. Why? 
because it's not from the person she want to hear from. Yep. If we if, if we gonna talk about it, let's talk about it. let's call it spade a spade. You know, and it, it, you know, I know it's I know it's a little bit late. I'm 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 gonna be interested to see the women chiming in and comment and just letting just letting us know, ladies, tell the truth. <laughs> tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell, tell, tell the truth like Will Smith said in Clutching. Tell the truth. Yeah. Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen but, it. I've seen it myself. Yeah, man. I've seen it myself where, you know, I'm a personable guy. You know, I talk to a lot of people, you know, know a lot of people or whatever. And I'm a people person to a degree. You know, right. I'm a people person in certain settings, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm pretty much a loner. But I am a people person. When I'm, I mean, I am out and about, and I'm able to work a crowd. You know, you know, be able to walk up to anybody and spark up a conversation. That's just the type of person I am. And so, um, you know, and women see that because women see one thing. Women see too. Even if I don't fit what they want physically, um, as far as the way I look, they look right. at your charisma. They look at your confidence. Right. And they also look at how other people react to you when you walk in the room or when you engage with them. Right. And so, you know, that's where um, that's where I have it at. And so, you know, I'm and I always talk about I'll be cheesing in these women face and I always give them my oh, he a flirt. He a flirt. Kind of. Kind of. You know, I kind of am. I can't lie about that. I kind of am. Yeah, you know. I'm, glad, I'm glad you're admitting that, B. I'm, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of am. You know, I do, I do, I do flirt from time to time, but That's but real. not with the end goal in mind. I'm not trying to get your phone number, take you out, or anything right. like that. You know, it's just right. flirting, and I'm moving on. And women who are interested dislike that a lot because you're like, okay, you was over here cheesing in my face, but you didn't say anything. You didn't make a move. Matter of fact, I was at Rum and Jerk a couple Sundays ago. It's um little event that they have outside. It's a day party. And they had like um, Flag Day, the Haitian, Jamaican, Bahamian, the islands. And I'm there. I was there with a uh, lady friend of mine. And um, another lady uh, was on the other side of me. And it was crowded, elbow room, you know, no, no elbow room. It was standing room only. So, but it was a nice vibe and it was cool. But, you know, she was very talkative, you know, leaning all on me. You know, physical touch is one too. But she never shot a shot. She never said anything. She never offered social media it, it, nothing she never said anything and it could have been because she might have thought that i was with the lady that i was with at the time but i can tell her disappointment when i didn't say anything because when i was getting ready to leave the whole time our interaction she's giddy she's bright eyed she's bright eyed and bushy tail like my grandma used to say you know she's she's hanging on my every word right when we decide we're getting ready to go i take the hookah back and i walk up to her and i said hey it was nice meeting you she wouldn't even really, she like kind of like glanced in my eyes. She was like, okay, yeah. Like that whole time now I'm talking to her. She's like, yeah, you know, it's whatever, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as I'm about to leave, yeah, yeah, it was nice meeting. Like that. And I'm like, <laughs> all right. So I walk off. But I know what that's about. She wanted me to make a move. She had, she sent me all the signals. I'm not making the move though, because you cheesing in my face. You smiling, you laughing, you touching my shoulder, flipping your hair, turning your body towards me. All these are choosing signals, fellas, if you didn't know that. So she's playing with her hair. If she's laughing at things that are really not funny, that's a choosing signal as well. Her turning her body to face you is a choosing signal. She was throwing it all out there. But I need more than that. I need more than that. That's the hey, that's that's women who they that's their way of trying to shoot their shot, but it's lazy. No, verbalize what you want from me. You want my number? You want to go out? You want to hang out? That's the only way you're going to get me because I'm not going to go off of just signals. If you going off of signals has got a lot of men in trouble. So, ladies, that's why y'all got to approach more. Right. So, <laughs> and I listen, man, I don't want nobody to say, oh, oh that's Sean, Sean. Sean's care, cocky, he's arrogant or whatever. I'm just being 100% honest. And I'm just on my mama. I can, the number of women I've actually asked out on one hand. I'm 51 years old, man. I yeah. ain't got no reason to lie. And if anybody know me, it's like, you know what? That's pretty much accurate. I, I believe it because, you know, I, 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 know his, I know his track record. So... <clears throat> A, a, a lot of women, they do, they want, they send out signals, but they do want you 
you know, that because I hear women, because I say it, I say it, you know, my mom raised me and told me, hey, you know, uh, if you're interested in a woman, it should be reciprocated on both parts. Don't be yeah. out here chasing them women. You ain't got to chase them, Sean. You look just as yep. good as them, or in some cases, better. These are her words. These are not my words, ladies. So don't get it misconstrued. So here's the thing. You can let someone know you're interested. What I even sometimes without even verbalizing. But for me, where where I stopped really kind of pursuing women in that manner is uh, I want to say I was uh, I think I was about nineteen. Pursued somebody. Completely <laughs> shot down. <laughs> It does I not mean, feel it, good. It would have oozed. I mean, it shot me down. I mean, hey. literally shot me. Is that who is that? Robin. She said that's how we were taught. Yeah, that, exactly. that is how we were taught. Yeah, 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 that's right, Robin. That's how we was taught. But for me, when I got shot down that one time, and I remember going and I'm telling my mom about. She said, "What I tell you?" She said, "She." My mom told me this. She said, "Baby, never look." She said, "Always be cool." always be on top of your coolness. Mm -hmm. Never look desperate. She's like, I'm your mama. We don't like desperation. Yep. We don't like needy. We don't like men who lack confidence. Mm -hmm. We don't like it. We, it, it, it. She's like, I'm just letting you know. She say for me, I can't speak for all women out there. For me, lack of confidence, a man lacking confidence, he's insecure in himself. That's a sign of weakness to me. I need a man who's going to be sure of himself. Yeah, he that man that's sure of himself, he's going to have a slight edge with the cockiness. He's going to have it yeah. because he's confident in his abilities or what he brings to the table, so to speak. Yeah. So she but, say, but she said, I told you, don't chase women because dogs chase after cars. Remember I told, showed you in the neighborhood, every car that passed by them, dogs are chasing. That's how men look when they chasing like that. She's like, listen, yeah. have some tax on Hold on to your dignity and your integrity. You can let a woman know that you're interested. And if she's intelligent enough, she's going to pick up on it. Because naturally, this is what mom said, naturally we're smarter than y'all. And she's right. She's right. They on top of their the stuff. You well, know? I've seen, a, I, and my mom, she just said, uh, said we don't want to be shot down either. Um, mm -hmm. I've seen a, st a study where they were talking about uh, the psychologist. She said that, when, it, especially when it comes to that, women use like they say areas of the brain they did like a a study of the brain when it comes right. to evaluating people right. women use 14 to 16 parts of their brain men use four to six when it comes to that specifically exactly. and yeah so when it comes to social cues and things like that yeah women will pick up on it way faster like i told you nobody can nobody knows uh can tell a woman likes you more than a woman who already likes you exactly. they pick up on that like that so quickly and, and here's the thing. I'm pretty much done when it comes to that. Um, yeah. from, and, and, and I tell you what, ever since I was 19, I got shot down at one time. I would tell female who, who are good friends of mine or anybody, say, hey, man, you know, they'll be like, oh, Sean, you know, she, she you know, she feeling you, she feeling you. I say, man, unless she plop down in my lap and tell me in my face, dude, I'm not doing that again. I was like, dude, you act like you got shot down all year. Like, you got shot down one time, man. You, you scarred by that. I said, look, man, I don't want to look stupid. But what's funny it was that you said and, and what, what your mom said, women feel the same way we feel when it comes to that. They don't want to get rejected either. They, it, it, it's crazy how we both think in the same terms. Women don't want to get rejected and men don't want to get rejected. But, right. but when a woman approaches, when a woman approaches you, for what the women who have approached me in my life said, you know what, I didn't want to take the chance of of not knowing mm -hmm. that you were available or unavailable. I needed, I needed to be in the know. I needed yep. to know. That's why I approached you. And now I've had women who who who've approached me. It's like, you know what. I got tired of waiting on you, so I just went on ahead and made a move. You want to go out? That's one too, or whatever. I mean, and it was so cool, but it was funny, and it really got my attention because for me, 
I love a woman that can make me laugh. Mm -hmm. Because what that shows is that she's got personality. She's got a sense of humor. I, I can really joke around with her and we can act a fool. She's not all uptight. You know, because, you know, a woman that can make you laugh, you really can kind of let your guard down and just really be yourself. Because yeah. when we talk about sense of humor, there's no sense of uncomfort. I'm um, being uncomfortable when it talk to sense of humor when we when we both act in a fool, we both clowning. That's a more comfortable environment opposed to always taking life and being so uptight all the time. But women feel the same way that yeah. we feel when it comes in the rejection department. Yeah, and I will say this: when women approach, you cut down the percentages of her leading you on, because when you approach women, when men will not approach a woman. Even if she's not interested and she doesn't find me appealing and she's not attracted to me, she said, hmm, here's free attention. It's rare that they're going to turn down free attention. You know, right. um, and then not only that, free attention, and then once they, once they figure out, start to get known, they're like, hmm, what can I get out of this guy? You know, I have no interest in him, but, oh, man, he has this. He has that. And now they fake interest. Women are the best actors, man. The best, the, the 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 Oscar goes to women in that department, being able to fake it. You got guys that can do it, but you can't do it to the level that women can do it. Manipulation is hardwired into them. That's what they do. It's it's a it's a survival thing. It's not facetious. It's not evil. It's not out of place of malice. It's just about survival, you know. But with um, when, when they approach, you cut down all that other stuff because now you know for sure that she is interested in you and you don't have to play those games, man. Man, they play more games than the NBA, you know, when it comes to stuff like that. So now once you once ladies approach that game is, is the game is cut. I know you're interested. And now it's up to me to accept um, your choosing. They say the best the best scenario for men is when the woman uh, puts herself in position to be chosen by the man, then the man accepts her and chooses her. That's where, and that's the that's how they say the, the relationship of men, that's the best way to start because automatically that's where um, not necessarily men will have the upper hand, but I would think you would come out of that situation with more respect than you going to her trying to pursue her because as soon as you pursue, automatically she feels like she's up here and you're down here because who's pursuing who you want me i don't want you you came over here i mean and it's not always that's not always the case but a lot of times it is it is b but here there's a flip side to that coin now i'm gonna tell you why that could happen i'm trying to put this so i can keep this pg pg 13. so <laughs> <laughs> Let help it ride. Me, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me. Help me, help me. <laughs> so that will happen. But as as they engage and they intertwine and they start seeing each other, let's say maybe between a four to six month period, he was the pursuer, but he didn't put it, he didn't put that thing down. That's attached. You get her he, attached. He didn't put that thing down, and he knows. He put that mm -hmm. thing down and he know he put in work. He Stick know it he to did. him like glue. He, he, mm -hmm. he, he know he did. Now, now that thing where she's up here and he's down here, that mm -hmm. thing slowly reverses. Yep. You know, because I've had conversation with, with women and, and, and excuse me when I say this. Yeah, you can find anybody to get up under. You can find anybody to get you. The smash yeah. you, whatever you want to call it. But God, I can't say this. Lord, I can't say this. I want to say this so bad. People gonna be like, "What?" All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it professional. I'm gonna keep it uh, PG thirteen. Not all vagina is good vagina. Not all penis is good penis. I'm gonna put it right there. Yeah. And True. we can say what we want. We can act like we want. We 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 can we can act like it's taboo. I don't know why when it comes to sex, people act like it's taboo. Dude, that's how we got here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's one of the three, it's one of the three things that's more important in the world. Sex, money, and uh looks. Mm -hmm. It's in the top three. I don't know why why it's gotta be so taboo. Now, if 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 a man and a woman, if a man and a woman can't agree can't disagree with me. 
you 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 I'm gonna tell you right now you're both face lie because not all penis is good penis and not all vagina is good vagina. I'm just telling you. And I'll yep. tell you what, that changes that game. It yeah, sure it will. It, 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 it'll go right. It'll go it'll go from here to here real quick. <laughs> and then and then she looking like, God, man, I think I would never think you would put it down like that. Be totally yeah. surprised. Be mm-hmm. totally surprised, but it does change, bro. Carlene said, Lord help him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Carlene, Carlene, answer this question. Carlene, am I lying? Now, Carlene, right. do, Carlene, don't be shy and bashful and comment. Now, we want your comments because ladies, men, we we have that, we we need all y'all voices. Chime in. Am I telling a lie when I say that? Please, right. somebody, please, somebody comment. Robin, somebody, Lisa, somebody, somebody comment on that. Am I lying when I say right. not all penis is good penis and not all vagina is good vagina? Am I lying about that? Somebody, please, that's say the something. truth. Yes, I know, or something. B, I know you agree. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> man, I was thinking that. I was, I was talking about that earlier, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, at least to say telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Reed. Robin, say you. true. Thank you, Light Skin. I know my girl was going to say, I knew she was going to tell the truth. I knew yeah. Robin was going to tell I mean, the yeah. Truth. I mean, you got, and you got to know, like, that's, of course, you know, that's a part of it. But, right. you know, one thing I, I know to women, guys understand their deficiencies where they where they lack, and they look for other ways to make up in areas that they like. Matter of fact, we talked about this yesterday. Right. You or you have to compensate for areas that you lack in right. for whatever reason. For whatever reason, exactly. Younger, especially younger women. I don't really younger older women don't really speak on it. They just put right. it on you and you just leave you like, oh my god. They don't they don't they ain't they ain't about to talk about it like that. They just like, hey, you want to come to the house? And you go to the house and you you get turned out. That's what happens. But young women like to brag on it in your face. <laughs> oh, I, I got the golden box. You know, uh, he ain't getting this nowhere else. He ain't doing that. I'm like, why all y'all think y'all got the golden hot pocket? I'm not understanding. <laughs> all the time. Everybody, everybody. Oh, they, they all great. Oh, it's all good. All of them good. <laughs> but see, here's my thing. And I've over the years, I've had conversations with women. They, they, they've told me about their they things. In the past. I said, how y'all let dudes walk around here thinking they all that in that department? And he's not, just, I, and he not, and he, 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 he out there thinking he doing that, he ain't doing nothing, or vice versa. They be like, yeah. "Well, Sean, what you say? What you say? I'll let you know, man, because that junk is important. I'm sorry, I'm not finna sit up here and waste time with you when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. uh-uh. you, no, 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 no. You got to, you got to have those conversations with that person that you're with. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? So, man, yeah. having people thinking that they <laughs> they they the bomb and they they not they far from it. And that but, and that that's where uh, some of the entitlement and them thinking they're better comes in too, and them not willing to approach because they like, well, what I got is gold. They got to come seek this. Mm, no, ma'am, what you got nope. actually is more in abundance than what I got because there's more of you than it is of me. So let, let's be honest. Like in some places, it's like eight to one, men to women. So right. it is what it is. It is what it is, man. Oh, 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 oh. Robin say, how do you tell him? Hey, just sit sit him down. Sit him down and say, hey, listen. Tell him, yeah, you're not satisfied. You, you're not satisfied. That's all I got to do. Let him know you're not satisfied. You ain't really got to go into necessary details about it or whatever, but you're not satisfied now. If it's something that he can fix and something he can change, like you know, you know, you know, stroke game week, you know, he's an awful kisser, uh, he doesn't know anything about foreplay and right. you know, stuff like that. You could change that, you know. Now, if it's things that he can't change, uh, you know, you know, you need to let him know that too. But if it's things he get he can't change, I mean, you got to <laughs> let him know. Hey, she say men get offended, yeah, men, men do get offended. But you women still get offended tell too. Them. Women get offended. Women get offended too. too. But you still gotta tell them. <laughs> you still gotta talk. You gotta tell them. You still gotta have that uncomfortable conversation because yeah. men know 
and women on both sides like okay this thing is kind of subpar yeah they know and okay second time third time fourth time fifth time okay man we gotta have a conversation we mm -hmm. gotta have a conversation because what i don't like about our society is how we water down and and downplay things that are important but we act like they are unimportant yes society kills me with oh i want you to tell the truth oh i want you to be honest and then when you live in your butt naked truth and 100 percent transparency they say yeah i want you to be honest but i didn't want you to be honest like that no 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 if we if you want honesty you ask me a question i'm gonna give you an answer if that junk was whack i got to tell you yeah women you got to let these dudes know you having these dudes thinking that they laying stuff down they not doing that yep and we ain't even got we ain't even got to the 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 the, the how can I say it? We ain't even got to the previews to get to the, the main movie. I ain't even get, don't let me even get, we ain't even talking about the previews. We talking actually about the main movie right now. We talking about actually the sex right now, but we ain't talking up about the lead up to that, which is even, those numbers are even low, are more, even more horrible from what yeah. women say. Like that joker don't know what the heck he doing down there. Yeah. So, Robin says she's screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so my thing about it is, is this, if we're two adults, we should have a, a be able to have a conversation about what we like, what we don't like, what's good, what's not good. And if we have to have that conversation to where there's no chemistry sexually, then there's no chemistry sexually. And that's, yeah, Lisa, and, 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 and that's a big deal. That's a huge yeah. deal. Lisa just said sex is important and letting them know where they lack is essential. Yes, that is essential. Go ahead and let me know. Don't don't drag it out and lie to me, please. If I'm not what you want, if I'm not satisfying you, and there's nothing I can do to change that, let me know. Like, I, okay, I'm I'm fine with that because I know somebody else who would like it. So, and the same with you. You you can find somebody else who be able to do the things you want to do. So you know you got to let them know. I think it's selfish when you don't voice. Um, your opinions when it comes to that, man. You're being right. selfish because you're not a, letting this person know. I learned a valuable lesson. So, and I didn't tell my mom until about a couple of months later. I was 19 years old and I was dating somebody who was 40, 40 years old. Okay. Mm. Learned a lot at a young age at 19. She taught me, you ain't got to rush. Fellas, this is a tip for y'all. This is a tip for y'all. Yeah. And she talked and she taught and she told me this. And I've had conversations with my lady about this. And you're like, wow, really? I'm like, hey, that's who I learned from. And then taught me this. If you want to keep your woman happy in the bedroom, satisfy her first every single time. Never deviate. Never get yeah. off course. Satisfy her every time first. Mm -hmm. every single time first yeah don't ever have it go the other way around fellas i'm telling you if you want to keep your woman happy in that bedroom satisfy her first bro satisfy her first put your hard hat on put your tube belt on put your construction boots on and go to freaking work and satisfy her first every single time and then what that older woman told me as I was a 19 year old boy, she told me, she said, I guarantee you, when you satisfy that woman every time, you are gonna be that dude 20 years from ago that she will never ever forget. You are gonna have that lasting impression because a lot of them ain't doing that. They wanna yeah. wham, bam, thank you ma'am, not please that woman in the bedroom and then acting like, you know, they laying it down like a porno sign, they going to sleep, man. You give you giving her five, 10 minutes, no, nah, bro. Yeah. Put her ass to sleep. Go yeah. to work. That's what you got to do. But here's the thing. You got to take your time. Quit rushing through it. Satisfy yeah. your lady. Satisfy your lady. Satisfy her first. Yeah. We Guys really, got to know. We don't want to have these. We don't want to have these conversations. I don't no. know why. It's just sex. 
Yeah. We don't want to have these conversations. But there's so many unsatisfied ladies out here. Yeah. Every day, every night, they just unsatisfied as hell. Yeah. Yeah. So many. I mean, and the, and the horror stories I've heard. This oh, is the horror yeah. stories and I've heard from my from my lady. I'm like, oh my. Like, and Sean, and Sean, the guys got to know. Yeah, they need, Sean, they, guys, need, they need to know. When guys got to know. Brandon, all she had to tell me as a 19 year old was like, you know what, Sean, you're a selfish lover. You lazy. You lazy. You're 19 and lazy. I, hey, I listened to that old woman, man, because that old woman hit me to game, buddy. She hit me to it. Marvel say said from the rooftop. Yeah, guys gotta guys gotta know because Jakar said three minutes is it three minutes is a one round heavyweight man, bout. Jakar, sad. three minutes. <laughs> Jakar said three minutes is a heavyweight bout. Come on, Jakar. You serious? Come dude? on, man. Bro, I you hate. gotta do better. You gotta do better hey. than that, bro. <laughs> you to my to my hey, hey, Jakar say in, hey. He coming in hey, with the back phrase. <laughs> <laughs> look, hey, look what he say though. He say, he say, hey, he say, he say, he say, MF's been knocked out in the first round though. <laughs> hey, that's true. I, I, I can't argue that, Jakari. I cannot argue that. If you got it like that, hey, if you built that hey, way, if you hey, built that way, hey, okay. Hey, Jakari, if you can satisfy your lady in three seconds, bro, do your thing. But I know you lying. I know you lying. <laughs> oh, I, he's lying. Hey, I know he lying. Hey, he got. He got he got kids over there, so hey, he 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 been he been with his lady for a minute, so he putting in real work. He ain't over there doing exactly. that. Man. He he putting in real work over there. Oh, the car putting in real work. Jacardi, he know he, he the car be hey the car be in that thing like this. <laughs> <sighs> if I had some water, that's a Jacardi. I know. Come on, Jacardi. I know. I already know. I already know. <laughs> yeah, he be in there. bathroom break, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired, boss. Boss, I'm tired. tired. And then, tired. guys, guys, tired, gotta boss. know, it's dude. Hours is gonna come, dude. You do a a a, a few strokes and a couple of uh, pushing and shoving, and boom, out. You done got yours. So yeah, the the task is her. Older lady told me, and this has served me well. She said, foreplay starts as soon as you wake up. She said it's all throughout the day. You send you could say send little texts calls do little things it ain't got to be extravagant just right. little things here and there throughout the day so right. by the time it's time to get going the engine is already revved up all you got to do is get in the car and drive off yeah My hey we got to do a whole hey we're gonna do we're gonna do we're gonna do a, gonna do a hey, whole hey, show hey. on this right here so so no i'm a i am got to tell you this, man. so in my 20s man you know, after I went through my first divorce or whatever, my mom was like, she said, my mom, <laughs> she said, baby, what you be doing to these women and have them go crazy like this? They be calling me and be talking about Miss Gwen, Miss Taylor, I love your son. <laughs> Why you treat that like that? Mama say, she used to say, baby, what you be, what you be doing to these, what, what you doing to these, these ladies, these girls out here? What you doing? I say, mom, I'm, I'm keeping them first. <laughs> I'm taking care of them Good. first while I'm putting it yeah. in work. <laughs> and Sean, you'll be and surprised. And you know, she could do nothing but laugh and be like, okay, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll, you'll be surprised the amount of guys, their right. strategy is you get your, you better get yours on the way to me getting mine. It's a Man. lot of guys have that strategy. You Man. better get yours on yeah. the way to me getting mine. And if you don't, oh, well, I got mine. I'm out. There's guys that's like that. I mean, I, and. Fellas, you're losing. If you're not satisfying your woman in the bedroom first, you losing. Please, fellas, get fellas. You got, let me tell you something about this one. This is what it's about us, man. Our ego get us in trouble so much, man. And our ego also hurt, get our, get also can hurt our feelings. Fellas, yep. if you out there not satisfying your woman first, thinking that you more than what you are, if that woman was 100% transparent, you will be mad and your feelings be se severely hurt. Yeah. Take care of your woman in that bedroom first, fellas. Not one time, not 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 once a month. Every time y'all get y'all do y'all thing in that bedroom, you got to take care of your lady first, man. Trust me, she will always appreciate that. 
I'm telling you, and you you have no idea how far that's gonna go. I'm telling yeah. you. But you right, B. Guys, by nature, man, selfish lovers, bro. Yeah. And yeah, then they- and then too, the guys who have that strategy, I mean, they don't really care because the majority of them is hey, I got this one today, I got another one lined up for tomorrow, another one lined up the next day, another one lined up at two o'clock. When she leaves, another one coming at three o'clock, another one coming at seven o'clock. Like those guys have women around the clock, so satisfying and them. They ain't satisfying none of them though, B. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not. But they, I, I, I understand where they're coming from, right? Because right, they're right. like, right. why, 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 why is she important when this? Mm-hmm. I'm just pumping and dumping, dumping, um, uh, smashing and dashing. Oh, I heard a new one. Um, skeet, uh, uh, uh skeeting and beating. Uh, I heard that uh, the other day. <laughs> hey, that's that's just that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing, man. Oh, but. My God. God. We got to do a whole. We got. We're gonna do a whole show on that. We we gonna do a whole topic on that. We are gonna take a whole hour and we are gonna break that down. That right there. Yeah, but we have to, man. We have. To. Let's let's kind of let the ladies know, like, like I will just I will talk from my perspective. I can't speak for all men when it right. comes to approaching and women shooting their shot. It's little things you can do. It is you don't have to go out of your way or overexert yourself to get a guy's attention. Shoot, like um, it's a I forgot the uh, lady. She's a femininity coach, and my mom sent me. Uh, I think it's April Mason, beautiful black woman. She always talks about she's older, and she talks about how she's like she's like I love going to Home Depot because I know that's what the men are. She's like, oh yeah, sir. Um, uh, what kind of lumber is this? Uh, can you get this for me up here? Uh, can you do that? She said, I love to let a man be a man. Shoot, you can do that right there. You can be in the grocery store. Hey, can you get me this from the top right there? And the man's most a lot of men will take it from there. Because you initiated the talk, you initiated the contact first. You ain't got to walk up to me and ask me what's my name, what's my sign, and what's my phone number. No, all you got to do is show interest first. And then once I see and I want to reciprocate that energy, I will do so. Brandon, yeah, I, they, and I don't have nothing to add to that, man. You just killed it. You just didn't. Nail, nail, I mean, that's the, the nail on the head. I mean, that's a perfect segue what women can do in their approach asking for the help it's it's so smooth very 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 strategic and intelligent you know to get a man's attention because men are you know i guess i guess fixers or helpers or and then just like you said b it's going to segue into another thing before you know it they're going to be going on their first date yeah you know? Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. See, here goes Jakari. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's true, Jakari. Right. That's true. Right. Yeah. That's true. Right. Right. You've been taking a whole lot of shots over there. You got mouths to feed, baby. You've been taking a whole lot of shots over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Jakari, man. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's my dude. That's my dude, man. Uh, but yeah, right. it's um, the ladies, it's that simple, man. It's that easy because right. men, I just, it's, it's crazy. Women have a hard time understanding men and i can see if you had a hard time how men have a hard time understanding women i I get that because we've been indoctrinated and you know so much been programmed up here about how women are and they're really not that way i get that but the same has been done for women to a lesser extent but Mm -hmm. men are incredibly simple creatures man we're simple hey what what kevin's what what they say uh sex sandwich silence I mean, it's 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 really that simple. It's That's it's not hard. Thing. We're we're not hard to please. We're very simple. Right, right. That's it. It's it's, it's it. I mean, we're not we're not re- reinventing the wheel. It's 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 very it's very simplistic, man. But yeah. you know, some women make it hard. You know, they just make the it hard. Ego, the ego, especially yeah. ladies with their ego. Yeah, you got man. this ego and then entitlement. Entitlement and that, is and that pride, man. Yeah, man. I yeah. well that 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 comic I told you about where you had the handsome guy compliment the lady at the job, and she's like, Oh, thank you. And then the guy who's not attractive compliment, she go, HR. A right. guy made a good point about that. And say you might be, you know, guys, you may be jealous of the guys who are really good looking, tall, whatever, money, and all of this. He say, but the difference between the two is. The unattractive guy gets HR called on him right away. He said the attractive guy gets um, allegations against him 15 years later. 
I right. said, oh my goodness. He's right. He's absolutely yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I said, yeah, that man, that's happening right now in front of our face. It's happening right now. The guys mm -hmm. with all the looks, the money, and the status, women are coming back. Oh, he did this to me in grade school. Man, that was 30 years ago. <laughs> I don't even remember that. <laughs> what? Oh, dude, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that that's something. I, I, that 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 that's a whole that's a whole nother topic. B, we gonna have to get on because I'll never. I don't understand none of that stuff, man. How you can yeah. come from 30, 40, 50, 60 years and, say, and accuse something of somebody, and they really go through the courts and all that, and have a possibility of going to jail and serve some time over something happening like that, man. They, it, the judicial system need to be shaming themselves, man. Seriously, they yeah. they they. Are. What's that? Who's that? Uh, that is, let's see, Jakari say his wife went the horseplay route when flirting. Hey, uh, that's another one. That's another one, especially when the, um, um, uh, women like the rough house a little bit. And uh, yeah, that, that, that's a good one too. Cause now I know like, yo, she, you putting your hands all on me. One way your hand on what's your hand on I'm my shoulder right there. What, what we got going on here? Let's see. Uh, Lisa says men are visual. There's a way to send a message to him to communicate your interest. Yeah. 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 And they talk. I seen a little right. thing when they were talking about uh, eye contact and saying how it takes men probably about three times to notice when a woman is engaging to get that that gaze to show interest. They say they have to do it about three times for men to catch on to it, because right. usually we're not paying attention. Right. And yeah, like I don't go. I, I'm not going to leave at my house today. And thinking that, oh man, I'm gonna get some chicks today. I right. I didn't do that, and I really I haven't really done that in the past when I was younger, and I definitely don't do it now. You know, when I'm right. out and about trying to just live my life. I run into a woman, I run into it. It is what it is, but it's not a priority of mine at all. Mm -hmm. So, by just by you coming up to me, talking to me, engaging in conversation right there alone, I'm gonna know there's a level of interest there because most people are just going to say hi, bye, you know, may make little conversation and then for the most part they're going to keep it moving but when right. i see you got your feet planted and you're invested into the conversation and you yeah right. I, yeah right right there right there right i agree 100 percent. i agree 100 percent on that man you know yeah yeah and uh, ladies get over yourself get over yourself you you you're not as cute as you think you are you're not as fine as you think you are your box ain't as great as you think it is you're not right. better than me you know you're not you know, right. so if that's what if, if, if the guy, if that's what you want, go for it, go for it, go get what you want, because yeah. please believe when guys see what they want, they y'all call us thirsty. So, you you know, we going to go after um, the, the guys who really want what they want. they going to go after it, you know, They'll, and a lot of those guys today, like being thirsty today is, is not is not really good for men today. you being no. a thirsty guy. Mm -mm. No. And in no setting, that's in social media. That's yeah, that, in person. That ain't, that ain't the move. It's it's not the move. Y'all expose thirsty guys. Y'all forever exposing the DMs, text messages, all of that. So, as a guy, I'm like, why approach? Why DM her? Why try to talk? To, why? Because she can be like, oh, look at him. He trying to talk. He this. He that. Right. Why do? Right. Why am I gonna go through that? So right. unless unless you want to hey what's hey what you boy say buy a dog <laughs> <laughs> buy a dog and die alone unless you want to do that um right. you better get to uh throwing some interest and some signals out there at least right. a little exactly at least something man do something yeah all right big. yeah man, let's, let's let's wrap it up we yeah we 49 yeah, we minutes in yeah we 49 minutes in 49 yeah, minutes old, in bro yeah, at least I, I know you heard that. She talking about she screenshot all the married ones. Uh huh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they shouldn't be in her DMs. You know. They shouldn't saying? be there. Yeah. And screen I mean, do them every single time. They shouldn't be there. They shouldn't yeah, be there man. unless they have a agreement with their significant other. Most don't. Most nope. don't. Because nope. most ain't got the money to have that type of agreement. Nope. <laughs> nope. So expose them. Expose them all day. But man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and we'll be back. People. We'll be back again. Um, what Monday, Monday, Monday. Okay. Yeah. Monday. We got, we got a couple of different topics already oh, that man. we've been talking about. So, oh, I mean, this gravy train is going to continue to pour because it just, it's just coming. 
just coming to us. So stay tuned. We'll be back Monday with another live stream. Um, what three three p.m. our regular time? Right. We'll be back yep. again. Three p.m. So, man, 3 y'all, PM. yeah, make sure y'all tune in, man. I appreciate y'all. Like, share, and subscribe. Hey, follow Sean on all his social media: uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all those good things. There, all yeah, all platforms. But That's man, it. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in, and we are out of this thing, man. All right, peace, peace out, y'all. <laughs>